if i remind myself of all those lovely people in my own family and my own friend friends list you know they are not going to spend eternity with me that very thought makes me feel terrible though we want to do all that we can we have inhibitions and that stops us from carrying out the great commission some of us we say that i don't know how i can go and present this gospel to others because i really don't know how to present it if you want to present jesus you can talk about yourself at some point in time i was lost but now i am found by the love of jesus christ i have a relationship with him now some of us think that this is a very simple thing but it's not because there are so many of our brothers and sisters from different walks of life and if you sit down and tell them that i have a relationship with god which you and i we have if we tell them most of the times they think that we are imagining or we are lunatic uh, because in their walk of life in their perspective this relationship with god is unheard of but do you need to be prepared in order to give an answer uh, for the questions that you and i face yes the bible speaks about it in first peter chapter 3 verse 15 but sanctify the lord in your hearts and always be ready to give a defense to everyone who asks you for a reason for the hope that is in you with meekness and fear the second reason why we are not able to go ahead and do what we are called to do is because we assume that people are not spiritual we think that somebody is very practical he doesn't have time for all that but when we sit down with him we realize there is a side to that person where he thinks about god he thinks about the creator he thinks about why is he created what is the purpose for which he is put here on the earth he has those questions in his mind in his heart and right? so people are innately spiritual sometimes we don't want to talk we have inhibition because we think that will people be convinced sometimes we think that what if they ask me a very tough question i may not be able to answer now here is the thing let's say that even if we prepare read all the frequently asked questions be ready with the answers go and try talking what if they ask you something else again no answer right here is the point you may be very well read you may have all the answers you may even be able to win an argument but that does not help us we are not called to win arguments but we are called to win hearts holy spirit has a way of drawing people so let's not discount the holy spirit it is as much as you know we are desiring to bring about a change in someone's thinking he also desires that and he will do that and he takes pleasure in partnering with you and me so do we need to worry about whether people will be convinced no we shouldn't worry about it because we are only doing 50% the holy spirit is also drawing people to him at the same time sometimes we don't want to uh, go ahead and talk to people because of the fear of rejection we see in the scripture jesus speak into the people who are going to represent him in matthew chapter 10 verse 40 he who receives you receives me and he who receives me receives him who sent me right it's not you or me they are rejecting right and we shouldn't take the rejection to ourselves but the fear of rejection shouldn't stop us from doing what we are called to do now another reason why we don't want to go and present this gospel to our, our people in our lives to our friends to people we don't know is because of the fear of persecution we see in matthew chapter 10 the lord sends his 12 disciples and he wants them that persecution will come right and he says that in this world you'll have trials you'll have tribulations there'll be challenges but take cheer because i have overcome the world bible also says in matthew chapter 10 verse 16 he instructs them to be wise as serpents and harmless as doves that means we should not be foolish and we should not unnecessarily attract trouble but bible clearly teaches us do not fear even in the middle of a persecution sometimes we have other excuses like i am not very strong i am unsure about my own faith and relationship with the lord if not then you know where you understand where you stand that you need a savior The Bible says brethren if any anyone among you wanders from the truth and someone turns him back let him know that he who turns a sinner from the error of his way will save his soul from death and cover a multitude of sins 